Hi guys, welcome back to my video. It's the next day now. I've been 19 for a day. Wow, I'm talking as if I've changed overnight, which clearly I haven't. I just realized I'm matching with the new covers outside. Cute. Anyway, I wanted to set some of my intentions for 2021 as cheesy as that sounds. I really believe I'm like speaking your intentions. If I really believe that you can seriously work towards a goal if you really are passionate about it and you put the necessary steps to achieve it, all of that, I really think that it can make a difference. And you can just like speak it out in the universe. And if, you know, for example, if I want to do well at school, I'm going to study, I'm going to see my teachers, you know, write practice exams, practice essays, all of that, because that's going to help you get forwards. Anyway, I just wanted to speak some of my goals with you guys. You can skip this part entirely if you want I don't don't mind maybe you guys can relate if you're in a similar situation as me or whatever but you know first of all 2020 was quite a rough year for pretty much all of us I know that I'm in a very fortunate position being in the state that I am because there was literally no cases which I'm not saying that to brag I'm just saying that as a matter of fact so I really did not don't know the full extent of the virus and all of that but first intention is gratitude and that comes with everything I think I've really realized that there's just so much in life to be content about be grateful and fortunate about rather than focus on the small little things that you want to change like there's no point saying I wish I was smarter or I wish I was prettier or just things like that where there's so much about you that is great and is amazing that the next person besides you doesn't have you know I just think that's quite cool I am not really like not that I'm not in a talking mood right now but I'm not in like a deep chat mood because it's only like 5 30 right now so I feel like I'm in a deeper chat like late at night but thought of film now with like trees in the background things like that what else thing number two is that the only person at least for me the only person in way is yourself you need to stop self-sabotaging yourself whether that's just not going to hang out with your friends because you're I shouldn't when you know it's gonna make you feel better if you go or purposely just not doing self-care and purposely like doing the opposite of self-care destructive things that's what I'm trying to say just for the sake of it that's not good stop doing that that goes with the same saying that you're in your own lane stay in your lane in the sense that comparison to other people is not going to get you anywhere it's honestly just gonna make you more miserable everyone has their own unique talents and all that and I know that I probably wouldn't have said this a couple months ago because I would have been like well everyone else has talents and I don't and well you know what it is what it is you'll find something three invest my time into the things that genuinely make me happy happy like my passion projects like this making videos sewing all of that I think investing time in a skill like sewing is a better and more productive way of using my time because I'm investing in myself and something that I really enjoy doing as well as you know being able to do everything else but, like I need to do like admin stuff if that makes sense otherwise other goals like I'm going to university I am so fortunate to be studying a course that I am really really passionate about I just think I'm going to be absolutely beyond excited to go and that's probably kind of strange because I think majority of people are kind of scared but I can't wait like if I could start actually no, that's not true I started in like a month I was gonna say if I started tomorrow I'd be like yay but I I wouldn't want to start tomorrow you know and I'm just so fortunate and grateful to be able to be studying something that I enjoy and I'm sure that I just cannot wait to be doing something that's creative that's still I don't know how to word this properly but I'm just really excited for that obviously I want to put like literally put everything into that into my course and all that as well as being able to do other things socially and work and all that because of course you need to balance with everything but that's a huge huge priority and it's something unique and different and you like <clears throat> these come next couple years is probably like the best years of your life like in your 20s apparently <laughs> apparently I say apparently but that's what everyone's told me so I think I'm just really excited for that and what's to come I think I'm just like I'm excited for the future that's probably like number four I'm excited for the future and I feel like this sounds so sounds so dark but I feel like I'm in the past I haven't been whereas now like I cannot wait I cannot wait to get up in the morning sometimes sometimes <laughs> that still needs to be worked on but that's the point of these intentions that you know I like waking up in the morning like I like getting out of bed and being able to do things and I'm grateful that I can do whatever pretty much grateful that I have a body that works all of that Probably the fifth goal is like creativity all of that I just want to keep pursuing like passion projects like this because they just generally make me so happy and I just really love doing it so why wouldn't I do it and just yeah. learn how to edit things like that just lots of different things learn, like write more I would want to make a podcast obviously that's not going to happen for like a couple years or like a blog or something but all those things really quite passionate about I think I'd really like oh this is like much better angle I guess oh damn it my battery my battery's about to die I literally charged it last night as well I think with self-growth as well there's so many things I could say I could list about 500 things but you know just Honestly, as you're gonna hate me for saying this, but like, 
find yourself find what you're passionate about find what makes you happy surround yourself with people who make you happy that's probably number six invest as much time in people as they invest in you I, that's something i've learned in the past year if someone's not going to reciprocate how much time you put towards someone whether that's like a friendship relationship or just with whoever it's not worth it because you deserve better and that can be interpreted in many ways and obviously to some extent i just want to clarify that but for the most part it's very true so i think i've learned that to help me prioritize what matters in my life who matters in my life things like that that if someone's going to be toxic or going to insult you or put you down why why are they your friend or why are they around you you know this is not directed at anyone by the way this is just like setting my intentions that surround yourself find a tribe you attract you attract what you put out there if to some extent i'm not saying that if you're down that it's your fault that you're down that's not what i'm saying whatsoever i think it's really silly when people say that but what like honestly literally something i've learned is literally just be yourself like <laughs> the past couple months when i've literally just said what i wanted to some extent obviously everything i say just take it with a grain of salt when i've said whatever i was you know just was myself when i first met people i found that there was this much more much different reaction people were so much more so much more glad people were much more content i guess to be around me when i was truly myself rather than being more reserved because i didn't want them to judge me or think that i was like socially awkward or whatever because sometimes i can be sometimes i am like what am i doing charlotte like what are you doing i hope the wind isn't like bothering this god i thought it was somewhere number eight Number eight, being jealous, comparison's not going to get you anywhere. You can't compare a bird and a rabbit. Someone told me that, I was like, well, obviously you can't compare those. So why compare two people who had different stages of their life? And that's so true, especially like me and my sister. We're both interested in completely different things. Like she's studying finance, wants to do that. Does it look like I want to do that? No, <laughs> oh, I can't do math. I literally cannot do math. Like I, I, I can't, I can't, you know. I like doing YouTube, I like sewing. She has other things. She likes to play tennis. There's no point. Does that mean one of us is better than the other? No, not. No, it doesn't. Not at all. Not something I've realised, something I'm still trying to wrap my head around, but something that's really quite important. I think just everything that goes into this is like self-care, all of that. Otherwise, I just, I think there's so many different intentions that I want to set, but I'm not exactly sure. There's just so much. I think as well, it's good to have weekly goals, even daily goals. I know that sounds really silly to say daily goals, but you know, things you need to do to stay productive or do achieve something like today. <clears throat> I went to the gym that's good because i'm taking care of my body i made myself lunch that was good went to work and i'm seeing my friends so i've like ticked all the boxes of things that i wanted to achieve today as well as like other things like you know had to like send a post letter had to like apply for stuff you know other things besides the point what else there is so much i could say yeah i'm just excited to be able to have a platform like this to create whatever content i want i have an audience a small as I was saying, my battery just Look at this, it's so cute. I did like the alphabet, obviously. I don't have the rest of the cups. I'm just like all these bedazzled things. And look at the balloons, they are so pretty, so pretty. So as you can obviously see, I got a one and a nine and like the little balloons, one of them popped, that's all right. But the thing is, oh my gosh, I was trying to drive home and I wasn't sure if they were gonna fit in my car and I was like really worried about that. Hello everyone. I am going for drinks with my friends to CBH. I thought that they meant OBH. It's literally right next door to each other, but I was really confused. I was like, what if I show up the wrong one? Anyway, that's like, does not matter whatsoever. This is what I'm wearing. I will do a little montage because I think it just looks really good. Like, I'm sorry, but 2021 Charlotte, she's actually going to dress properly. She's actually going to wear what she wants. There's obviously much more important things that CEF can think about, but I just want to say that it is the 2nd of January crazy i will show you the decorations from yesterday look at these beautiful flowers oh so cute so cute and look 19 19 what the hell i'm eating the pizza left over from last night yes winning winning because i only ate half of it because i was so full from the brunch now i'm just gonna watch some youtube while and wait for my friend to pee i won't film at cbh 2021 i will vlog i will vlog in public but i won't take my camera because i'm not going to take my camera clubbing with me because that is a risk i'm not willing to take in case i get robbed imagine all footage and just how expensive this camera is like i cannot afford to lose it so yes Talk to you later. I also kind of look like a wet dog because my hair's really greasy because I have not washed it since New Year's Eve, which to be honest was like three, four days ago, like not that bad, but like you can tell my hair is looking nasty. It's not, it looks more wet in camera, on camera than it does in real life. Like it's not that bad, but it's like that. Starting January 1st, and then if you don't do that, you feel, you feel bad or you feel guilty or you beat yourself up or whatever. But instead of saying, I'm gonna work out three times a week, you can say, I'm going to prioritize my health. So I just like wearing it that way for- It sounds like someone keeps trying to break into my house, what the hell?
Here was my OOTD. I seriously am obsessed with it. This is also in my latest outfit video, which you guys can check out. I made the top. I can make a tutorial on it if you guys want. It's a with jean and spy top because I did not have $200 to drop on that top. The skirt is Third Girl, although it's from an old collection, so it might not be available anymore. And you can just watch me dance and show off the outfit that I was just like, yeah, I was feeling like a bad bee for the start of the year. <laughs>